am Kristen Hartness. And I'm Jay Yantz, and we are the co-founders of Ziggy's Refuge Farm Sanctuary, where we act as butlers to 85 rescued farm animals. We envision a world where animals are no longer farmed for food. We're living a vegan lifestyle will become the norm. The mission at Ziggy's Refuge is to rescue and provide sanctuary to victims of animal cruelty, specifically to animal agriculture. And to share their stories as a way to educate and advocate for a vegan lifestyle. Fourteen years ago, on a small island down the Caribbean, I got a 20-pound pig named Ziggy. I met Jay two years later. When we moved to the United States, we started traveling the country, and we would visit sanctuaries, and we would volunteer, and we learned as much as we possibly could during our travels. We had been doing that for about two and a half years. We decided this is our passion in life. Had we not only adopted a vegan lifestyle ourselves, it was our turn to open our own sanctuary and to start sharing our our own personal rescue stories. Come here, Buttercup. Come here, Wilbur. That's what I want. I want the pig bellies. What's my little Oreo doing? Hey, sweet boy. One of our core values here at Ziggy's Refuge is creativity. We think it's very important to break the traditional molds and bring about innovation, not only into our mission, but the way we take care of farmed animals, specifically with those living with disabilities. Hey, Montana. We value compassion. Come on, hang on, hang on. We believe it is our responsibility to improve the quality of life of all living beings with kindness, love, and support by giving them the freedom to live life on their terms. The last of our core values is inclusion. We firmly believe every living being, regardless of their species or background, is treated with kindness, dignity, and respect, and free from violence and oppression. Hey, Percy. The focus at Ziggy's Refuge is of two primary goals. The first of which is animal care. You are gonna do great in this surgery. We strive to give world-class care, the best vetting, and provide the best lives imaginable to the animals that we take under our care. Our second program is education. Anything that they need to thrive, we make sure that they get. And we like to share this information with the world. And in turn, we can open their hearts to loving these types of animals instead of seeing them as food. We personally built an in-ground therapy pool for our handicapped animals. We've also built an on-site prosthetics lab. We also use a hot tub to provide physical therapy for our disabled sheep, Moco. We believe that these creative solutions, while very different from what other sanctuaries use, allows us to not only bring a high quality of life to these animals, but also the unique style at which we do it helps us to reach millions of people. Our social media primarily targets women aged 35 to 65 who identify as animal lovers, but aren't necessarily vegan. We are extremely proud of the impact that we've had so far, but we want to take things to a whole new level, and we want to add a cinematographer slash video editor to our team. We are asking for $180,000 to cover salaries, travel, as well as the professional equipment necessary to create the type of content that no sanctuary or vegan organization has ever attempted before. With this help, we can reach more people and ultimately create more vegans. Hey buddy, I love you. We've already inspired thousands of people to go vegan and we're just starting. The hardest part to get people to go vegan is to get people to stay vegan. So we're gonna collaborate with Challenge 22 we're going to use their advisors to make sure that they meet all of our audience's needs. The ultimate goal is for us to become self-sustainable, to help other organizations become self-sustainable, and to create a vegan world. Will you help us amplify our mission?